Hello everyone, welcome to study to win education, myself Sanjay Bosle and in this video we will study equivalence of Kelvin, Planck and Clausius statement. So let's start with the lecture. A second law of thermodynamics can be given with as two statements, Kelvin Planck statement and Clausius statement. Kelvin Planck statement says that it is impossible to construct an engine working on a cyclic process to convert all the heat supplied to it into equivalent amount of work. In everyday words, it is not possible to construct an engine working in a such a fashion that all the heat input given to it will get converted into equivalent amount of work. There is always some energy loss to the low temperature reservoir will happen. As this diagram shows a heat engine to explain Kelvin Planck statement in which a heat Q1 from high temperature reservoir is given to a heat engine which is producing W amount of work and Q2 amount of heat is given to low temperature reservoir. The amount of work produced will be equal to Q1 minus Q2. Similarly, Clausius statement shows it is impossible for a self-acting machine working in a cyclic process to transfer the heat from low temperature reservoir to a high temperature reservoir without add of an external agency. In everyday words, it is not possible for a, any device to transfer the heat from low temperature reservoir to a high temperature reservoir without consuming some form of energy. A Clausius statement can be explained with refrigerator or heat pump. In this diagram, Q2 amount of heat is extracted from low temperature reservoir by consuming work W and W plus Q2 is equal to Q1 amount of energy is given to high temperature reservoir. That means to transfer the heat Q2 from low temperature reservoir to high temperature reservoir, W amount of work is required. Now moving towards the topic, even though these two statements sounds different but actually they are conveying the same meaning in different words. This equivalence can be proved if we violate one statement, the other statement gets violated automatically. That means these two statements are nothing but conveying the same meaning. To prove that these two statements are nothing but same, we violate any one of the statement that leads to the violation of another statement. So let's start. In this particular slide, we will violate the Kelvin Planck statement that will lead to the violation of Clausius statement also. Consider a system shown in a figure. A high and low temperature reservoirs are shown in which a heat pump and ideal heat engine is connected. A ideal heat engine is an engine which violates Kelvin Planck statement. That is to say, it converts all the heat supplied into equivalent amount of work. Here Q1 amount of heat supplied to engine that produce Q1 amount of work which is not possible as per Kelvin Planck statement. That means we are violating Kelvin Planck statement here. Now let us see if Clausius statement also gets violated. Let's give this W work produced to a heat pump to take out the heat Q2 from low temperature reservoir and deliver it to a high temperature reservoir. Therefore heat pump will deliver Q1 plus Q2 amount of heat to a high temperature reservoir. If we consider this as a single system as shown in the figure with a dotted line, we can understand that Q2 amount of heat is taken out from the low temperature reservoir and Q2 amount of heat is given to a high temperature reservoir. Because if you look, look at the figure, a Q1 amount of heat is taken from high temperature reservoir and Q1 plus Q2 amount of heat is given to a high temperature reservoir. Therefore, net heat given to the high temperature reservoir is nothing but Q2. If you look at the low temperature reservoir, Q2 amount of heat is taken out from the low temperature reservoir. Now consider this as a whole single system. We can observe that Q2 amount of heat is taken from low temperature reservoir and Q2 amount of heat is given to a high temperature reservoir. And there is a no external work or there is no external energy given to this whole system. That means this particular system transfers the heat Q2 from low temperature reservoir to high temperature reservoir without consuming any form of work which is violation of Clausius statement. This, this is to say if we violate Kelvin Planck statement, Clausius statement automatically gets violated. 
in figure we can understand that if at all this particular system has consumed some work then we must have delivered a heat or the energy higher than amount q2 but here we are taking q2 amount of heat and high temperature is also receiving q2 amount of heat therefore it is straight away violation of Clausius statement now to check if violating a Clausius statement can lead to a violation of Kelvin Planck statement consider a system shown in a figure a high and low temperature reservoirs are shown in which a heat engine an ideal refrigerator is connected a ideal refrigerator is nothing but violation of Clausius statement that is to say it transfer heat from low temperature reservoir to high temperature reservoir without consuming any form of energy now if we give heat q1 input to the engine it will produce w amount of work and q2 amount of heat is transferred to a low temperature reservoir now if we consider this two systems as a single system as shown by the dotted line we can observe that low temperature reservoir is giving off q2 amount of heat to a refrigerator and it is receiving q2 amount of heat from engine that means net heat transfer in low temperature reservoir is zero similarly high temperature is receiving q2 amount of heat and it is giving q1 amount of heat to a engine that means net heat loss by the high temperature reservoir is q1 minus q2 if you look at this particular engine it is producing w amount of work to the atmosphere now if we consider this as a whole single system we can understand that this system removes a q1 minus q2 amount of heat from high temperature reservoir and it delivers work of equal amount that is q1 minus q2 this is nothing but all the energy obtained from high temperature reservoir is converted into equivalent amount of energy which is nothing but violation of kelvin planck statement that means if we violate Clausius statement kelvin planck statement automatically gets violated this means these two statements are complementary to each other and the truth of the first statement implies truth of the second statement and vice versa thanks for watching if you liked the lecture please hit the like button share and do subscribe the channel Thank you.